Yo, yo, guys out there, what we got here? What we got here? What we got here? What we got here? What we got there? What we got there? And everywhere. Yo, today what we're gonna do? We going to replace those brick lights, car lights, with these lights right here. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, snap. You got anything else in there? No? Now, you gotta look up my homie right there. Suju One. This is Suju One, Chinatown. See that right there? Suju One custom hose. See that? You guys see that? Nice and clean, right? What do you think, Lolly? Yes! Pretty clean. Let me see it. Silly. Are we gonna do those or what? Yes. Anyway, so yeah. first thing what you wanna do, you wanna empty your uh, reservoir, which I already did. Okay. I have a syringe and I suck it up with the syringe. Okay. And then you just disconnect the lines. Now, when I'll do this, I'll probably put like some towels around the the firewall on the bottom of the subframe so I don't get no drips. But the best way to do it is just loosen it up. See that? I loosen it up right there. And I got my ball right there. So that way you can get all the fluid, you got all the brake fluid down before you start doing the installation. All right, so what we have here, I'm trying to do the brake lights. I'm trying to keep it where it's still factory. Uh, you got the factory uh, uh, proportion valve, but you're running the custom lights instead of the hard lights, which I hate the hard lights, which they run like a million directions and it looks all ugly and retarded, but that's just me. So I got these lights. By the way, you gotta give a shout out to my homie Sujo One, which I'm gonna tag him down below so you can check out his Instagram. That's who I got the lines from. Hit him up, he can uh, make you those lines, whatever measurements you want, uh, fittings. I got everything from him. Anyways, so um, the other ones, these ones, to the wheel, to the wheel bay, and to the uh, master cylinder, they just bolt up. But trying to do the back ones, which runs right here, as you can tell, and runs to the uh, to the back two wheels. We're gonna have to cut those and flare them. And I'm going to show you how to flare in case you never flare brake lights. Uh, this is a cheap flare tool that I use over the years. It does have some nice, uh, nice deals where you can actually like use it, but apparently with time they kind of stripped out. So what I have to do now, I just have to, uh, I have to use a bolt on there and just kind of tie it like that because the other one stripped out. Now with time, with time the thread's kind of messed up, but I uh, re-tapped it and I still use it. So. You know, call me cheap, whatever. And then here's the deal. So what do you do? You stick the line through the bottom where it's flush. And you got this little deal right here, which you grab on the sides and you go down. Don't go too crazy on it. Uh, so I just want to demonstrate how you do the 316, like how you uh, flare your line. So pretty much what you do is, uh, well, I'm doing it outside so that way uh, it's easier to show. We got a 316 line and we got this, uh, flaring there right here, which has got different kind of lines, 316, quarter inch, 3 eighths, half inch, 316. Gotta select that. So, what we do is, uh, we have the line here, and this is those nice AEM Phoenix right there. They just have to like slide through the line, so I'm just show you. So first what you do, you slide this piece right here down to the line, and then you have this right here, right there, see that? Okay, now next, what you gotta do is, uh, you gotta select the 316 uh, deal right there. Now when you select it, make sure the line is straight. Now, I did kinda rig this with some bolts because mine, uh, my little deal kinda messed up. Now you gotta make sure when you do it, that the line is straight. You wanna make sure the line is straight right there, see that? See how I did it? gotta be straight it doesn't have to stick up because the higher it is when you flare it it's gonna split the metal on top so the lower the lower the uh, line is flush the better it is in the... so we're just gonna tighten it down real quick 
I know I broke the little the little handle deal, so now I just gotta do it by hand like this. But hey, it works. So Okay, so now that you have it down, see that? It's all tied down. What you do is you take this little uh, deal right here and it just kind of flips one away and you get the little see that you get the little deal right inside the line now when you tie this you don't want to go crazy tight you can also uh, tighten it down pull it off check it and then uh, if it needs more flaring then you just uh, The whole idea is not to go with the line over the top because you're gonna split out the top. And then, guess what? You're gonna have your car done, you're gonna have brake lines, everything. You're ready to bleed the brakes and your line is slicky. That's the worst thing. You have to go back and redo it. And I done it, you know? And I'm sure some people that does this kind of stuff, they have done it too. But uh, you know from experience, you gotta take your time. And when you do this, you wanna do it once, you do it right. And you can kinda tell right there, see? Can you see how I flared it? The line, so I'll just pull it off and I can show you. Hey, I got my kids over here. So, pretty much got the line as you can tell right there. See that line? I don't know if you can tell it's flare, and it just push your deal up. See that the piece that I just stick it goes right in it. I think if I put it right here, you can probably see better. See that? And then, once you do that, then you have this other piece that goes over. See that? And that's where your brake line is gonna go in, which I'm gonna have this deal right here. See that? A dash three. See that right there? And that's how you have it. See that? Well, this has got a metric on that side, so it's made for my uh, proportion valve to go. But uh, I have a uh, 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 three uh, AN3 male right here. See that? This is what you want. So you can uh, kind of slide it in between. You want to slide this in between. So that's uh, that's kind of what you want. Now this one is a different kind of fitting, as you can tell. See that? That's a made, uh, it's a female, so when you go put it on the portion valve or on the master cylinder, can you tell the difference? Those two are different, so yeah. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to the car, and then put the lines in, and I'll show you in a second. As you can tell, I'm sucking some of the debris and stuff on the line. There you go, all my lines are in. Gotta tell all nice and clean. One goes to that wheel, one goes to this wheel. Anyways, so now we're just gonna have to bleed the, the brakes. We're gonna have to like fill it up. And uh, I got a friend here helping me out. And what's your name, sir? Juan. Juan Gonzalez? <laughs> or Juan de Chupacabra? Yep. And the uh, best way to start uh, doing bleed your brakes is the far farthest wheel from the master cylinder. So you start with the passenger back, and then you move back to the driver back, and then you move to the front uh, passenger, and then to the front driver. And the way I have it set up here, as you can tell, I got a hose and this nipple right there. I got an eight millimeter since I got the spoon calipers. And uh, see, I can ha have it in the uh, fluid right there. It's so, as you can tell, I got fluid inside. Go ahead and pump it five times. So it's gonna pump it five times and it's gonna hold it. Once it holds it, then you release. As it's releasing, the fluid goes down and there's no air going back in, as you can tell. Watch. See that? There's no bubbles coming in. That's how you know. Go ahead, pump it one more time. Five times. There's no bubbles coming out. That means you're good. That means your wheel is done. See how that bubble's going up slowly? But you don't want bubbles at the top, so see, open it, no bubbles. And this wheel is done. And there you have it, boys and girls. Got that uh, 
a brick talk right there not brick talk but a brick line stock kind of deal so kind of how it looks